Hey, 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 Gemini, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your weekend reading from August 14th to the 16th. This is for my Geminians. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini. <laughs> Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info's in the description box below. I'm gonna get a channeled message here for you, Gemini, in just one moment. But first, let me grab some cards, okay. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You have the Four of Cups. The Ace of Swords, the Devil card, and the Six of Swords. All right, so let's get this message from Spirit and see what they got for you, Gemini. Tend to the minute details. Gemini, the little details. Okay, now they're giving me the song. Well, that was a quick switch. They're giving me the song. Um, I think it's called I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. I don't want to close my eyes. It was the, the, the movie. I forget the name of the movie, but you know what I'm talking about. You know the song I'm talking about. I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, I believe. Aerosmith. capture the moment they're saying and I feel this has to do with love so if there's a moment that comes along this weekend Gemini appreciate this moment okay thank you well that was a mix of messages for you Gemini you get a little bit of everything huh three of cups at the bottom of the deck so that's dating it could be a reunion, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be you're out having a good time, Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you don't want to miss an opportunity. With the Four of Cups here, right? So this is clear. <laughs> you, you have truth regarding that. You're like, I don't want to miss any opportunities, so... I'm just going out, having a good time, dating. And I think this is as a result of going away from toxic people, behaviors, codependency, could be a Capricorn, but you're going on and finding peace. You're going away from this devil energy. I feel like you feel like you've missed too many opportunities because of this energy. Not that, and this is not about blame. This is just about your way of thinking right now. Because we all manifest shit in our lives. We do that. We have to figure out what we're doing to manifest the good shit, the bad shit. So we can either repeat it or not. So clarify the Four of Cups here. Five of Cups, yeah. You're, you're getting rid of this sadness. This may have been a pattern of behavior that you're like, uh-uh, done with that because you're becoming clear with this Ace of Swords here. Yeah. I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. I feel like some of you are focusing on your work so that you're not dwelling in this sadness. Clarifying the Ace of Swords yeah, we have the chariot, the lovers, and the page of pentacles. So for some of you, I feel like 
You may have even gotten a message from spirit, your higher self during meditation, something like that I'm feeling with this page of pentacles with the ace of swords because I'm feeling it's like communication from the self, from the higher self that you're done with this sadness. You're clear about moving forward. So it's like you, you found victory over the self. You're wanting to experience love. You know that you were getting in your own way when it came to finding love. So you no longer want to be the third party in um, blocking love coming to you, right? I feel like you've also learned to focus more on the spiritual rather than the material with these three sixes here. And you're connecting with spirit more. That's awesome. Yep. And by connecting with your intuition, this is this Queen of Cups here, and I feel that this is you. Believe it or not, you may have water in your chart, but this is you. Because I feel like your intuition told you that it's time. It's time to move away. What about this devil? Yep, healing. You're healing your heart, right? You got the Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Devil, and Four of Swords. You're healing your heart. You're finding that peace within. And you've done it. So you should be proud of you, Gemini. Definitely. Uh, who's coming towards Gemini in love? King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more. <laughs> Whoever this is, this is going to be a source of emotional fulfillment for you. I mean, you're your own source, Gemini, but this person is going to make you feel happy. Indeed. Definitely. So what is your advice for Gemini? Queen of Swords. Continue cutting the things out of your life that no longer serve you, whether this be patterns of behavior, whether this be addictions, whether this be just cutting out shit that doesn't serve you. That is you. You're an empress or an emperor, Gemini. Yep. Continue healing. All right. Especially if you don't think, if you're still feeling that something is lingering, Continue. Continue the healing process. Continue cutting out shit that doesn't serve you. Because again, you've got the three, right? You don't want to get in your own way. One more card for advice. Yeah. Stop struggling in your mind. There's no need to struggle anymore. Maintain this peaceful state. Maintain this peaceful state. Okay? Okay. Stop struggling in the mind. At the bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, and open your heart. All right? So keep your heart open for this king to come in. All right? You don't want to, whoops, you don't want to close off your energy to the king. Okay? Because then you become your own blockage here, right, with the lover's card. This king could be at a distance. Okay. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information is in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Gems, and I'll talk to you next time, or weekend. I'll talk to you next time, Gem. Namaste.